Welcome to this series where we are learning Victoria 3 by playing Sweden. And you can see on the right hand side here we've got a lot going on. But before that well, I'd like to say a big thank you for your comments and feedback as usual. You guys give me a lot to think about. Now I did get a couple of comments about the use of opium. Because it's actually used in our military. Which I did look at but I didn't quite make the connection. So we got an option here possibly of importing opium but i'm not sure what's the market like for opium uh let's just see now we've only got a british market i don't think it's really developed enough to be able to do that and the other comments i got has relates a little bit around the complexity of the the way that you balance your market and one of the things that's really starting, well, starting to worry me slightly is this constant growth in radicals. And you can see here that a lot of it comes from standard living. It says, and it also says, oops, uh, this the tool tip here is not particularly that good. Is this from, uh, one, I got 1.68 below the expected minimum. But I'm not sure what is the expected minimum. One thing I have noticed with this game is that you do need to let it run a little bit before you actually look at some of these stats because it's almost like the game recalculates everything every time you come in again so we got um a whole group of people it says impoverished so the minimum expected is 10.2 yeah, it says average minimum expected standard living wage from all pops is impoverished 10.2 the 78 percent of these pops are lower strata 24% are middle strata and 1.3% are upper strata. So it looks like we've still got quite a lot of problems with our lower strata with uh, respect to income. Now I thought the other thing I'll just do is just come out wide and just have a look around the map because I haven't only looked around this at the moment. Um, I'm not seeing in anything radical here. It looks like the so the East India Company are still putting that together. Looks like um, New South Wales is a, so look, it's a British dependency still. You can see the colonisation is going wildfire. I think this is one of the things that if you do want to play col the colonisation game, you do need to get off the starting blocks quite quickly. Now we have expanded our colony here. And what that's actually done is caused some high tension here. Um, usually we got the expensive markets and we are building a few things here as well and the other thing I'm kind of thinking of I was looking at this I don't feel the need to build the stuff that we actually produce in Sweden my my inclination is possibly to once we got if we got the population because we're not making a lot of money here we're making a little bit of money here i do wonder whether we need to export this dye plant this dye is cheap we produce 24 what's the market for a dye whoops guys at the moment oh that's liquor not dyes what am i on about <laughs> sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to actually that's that that's staple this is staple goods i think we've got to work a little bit on some of our staple goods as well to help our population guys but we're producing 191 at the moment are we actually importing any dyes uh swedish market we're importing 166 from the british market which is kind of pushing down so these guys aren't actually contributing anything yet um says so they're producing 24. Uh, i don't think we're going to get much from that dye plant just at the moment so we're mainly focused on importing stuff the other thing i've also noticed is that if you come in here the whole of prussia and through europe seems to be full of radicals and that what makes me a little bit worried about my economy up here and if we look at the population i was looking at this before i started we still got 
360,000 peasants who are struggling. And if you look down here, we got um, subsistence farmers. So I do wonder whether we need to pull some of these into our workforce. The problem is that they're not they don't they're not that highly educated, so they're not going to jump up and become machinists and that. So we need somehow to get these in with lower tier stuff. So I'm kind of thinking a little bit about maybe getting some more production going on a lower level. But that may, then may actually deflate the, mar the market. Let me just the market prices on you know, on everything. So we got tea is high. Furniture is furniture industry is high as well. Mm. See, see, we're getting furniture from subsistence farms, but to me that doesn't seem right. Uh, it can be produced by furniture workshops in we got construction maps Feeland. So let's just have a look at our uh, get rid of this. And well, I think I'm actually planning on burning <coughs> building another furniture manufacturer. But the club again I'm I'm just thinking we got tools, coal precision tools. Kind of components. I just wonder whether what we really need is uh, is another furniture workshop, say down in here, where we can actually specialize some of the the uh, what we call it. So say we put a furniture manufacturer there in Gotland. What we can do then is possibly. Um, get one producing luxury furniture and ordinary furniture and then one producing standard furniture as well So that's what I'm kind of thinking of at the moment uh, Trade routes need convoys to expand. We've got meat tea steel Artillery coal now we've got high tensions because of our expansion there. This fabric is high in the Again, this is what's driving the price up here. I kind of think that what are we actually producing at the moment? We're producing livestock ranch here. I'm just wondering whether we're just going to produce another one here. Because that will produce fabric and meat. And, there's, and this is pr high priced at the moment, meat. Because if we come into the market, we, I mean, we, we, we got massive demand, so we need do need to get that done. Um, fish is the same. So I'm just okay. We've now got reinforced concrete. Wow! Well, oh, oh, what's gone? What's happened? Got lots of input shortages now. Okay, let's find out what on earth is going on. What we got over here? It says diplomatic play for Poland. Um, do I want to get involved in this? What's going on? We've got radical Prussia. It looks like um, Prussia is just about to have a civil war. And that's messed up my economy because um, unproductive trade routes. We've lost three trade routes to Prussia. And that means that's affecting my wood, my tools, and fertilizer so we're gonna to have to wipe out the trade routes because that is now that's going to have an effect on so what we got to do now is find some new trade routes to replace what we've lost um <laughs> don't really want to what was it we should be really producing our own wood, I think. Right, we've got a shortage of coal. Right, we've got a massive shortage of coal. I think this is a good example of vulnerability. We've got coal, coal and coal. 
What's going on with the coal mine? Tools are through the roof now, so we need to import tools. Uh, I feel that we need to produce our own coal shortage because we've now got a massive 10% mortality of labourers. Go to that. And we need tools. Right, we've got, got the French market, we can go to that. So we can get an import for the French market, just let the game run slowly so that we can see if things can work out. Yeah, it's coal. We're going to have to import coal. I don't really want to do this, but um, coal, we'll import it from the British market. So I think we're after import coal to keep our industries going. Oh, uh, why why are these idiots causing problems? Yeah, coal, coal, and coal, and then that's causing shortage. We've got a bit of a circular process here because we we need the coal to come in. I just love this game. Um, we're gonna the coal mine. Oh, that's it. We've got to get that coal mine to the top, I think. In 14 weeks. Because uh, we need that coal mine ASAP. Um, we've got the market coming in now, so it seems things seem to have settled down, but. We've got furniture makers are now losing money. In Scotland, what are you? Oh no, you're still being built, aren't you? Okay. What? I don't think we got the tick for the enacting total separation. No, we didn't get it. We have to go all the way around again. It says Discord with the. What's up with these guys? This is intervention faction with Petite Beaujolais grown frustrated with their commerce neutrality of the total separation of planet favoured by law. Next one, 15%. I think we'll go with that and just see what happens. We got that. So everyone's mobilising down here. This is Equatorial Butemum. I'll make the state of ha ha Haiti. Oh, that's, not, that's okay. It's nothing to do with us. So we've now got here. So we all we got is fabric and wood. Let me just see now. We got clothes. We need to get we need to get the price of clothes down because this is what's making our um, radicals standard of living. We really got to get these. This a price of fabric and clothes down as low as possible. Is there any other ways that we can? What am I producing? Let's have a look. Clothes, not right. Buildings, urban, clothes factories. We got two factories in Gotland and one in Sveland. What are you? You're producing hat dye workshops. Okay. Do wonder whether if we let we put these guys on change their production method to prioritize non standard clothes, and then that should get that going. Let's just have a look at the livestock farms. We've got livestock farms all the way round. I do feel that maybe the what are we doing in Norland? Yeah, clothes is expensive. Just feel that maybe we gonna go for two up here. We need to keep an eye on our money. 
I feel if we, if we can get the price of fabric down, see, I could come all the way down here to the Congo and we could have a cotton plantation down here, but I can't see the point because this isn't, this is a unincorporated state, which means it doesn't pay any taxes. So if we we so if we had cotton production down here, this wouldn't pay any taxes to us. I feel that the only thing we really need to produce down here is what you would call goods that we can't produce ourselves, like coffee or tea. The tea could be a good import, couldn't it? What's the price of tea on the world market. Would be a luxury. Would be luxury good. So that is. So there's, there's a moment. We, there's lots of. There's less sell orders, so we could make some money from tea. For some reason fruit is a, and we got liquor as well. I do kind of. Uh, problem is we don't. We have a full. We do have a full workforce here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a tea plantation down here as well that should kind of improve that market bit but at the same time as that doesn't actually help my economy so we're going to, have to be very very strict on what we're trying to do Let's see what we're building we got Let's go a little bit faster Let's see what we got here Fair neutrality so this is all getting ready to kick off. So I think if we can keep driving this, it says here, so we're actually, if we can just keep, I think if we can reduce, let's say what I want to do is reduce this, the number of subsistence farms in our areas. So it's, it's more a question of just driving that um, kind of income. So if we can get that that way, wow, there's a lot going on down here. I've got Claire's neutrality, so um, we're just going to leave them to it. I think I'm just going to come back to the market prices. There's goods with potential for exports. Um, uh, the price of fish, actually, that might be an opportunity. What is the price of fish on the market? It'd be fish. Price is fairly low, but our population eat fish. It's, it's the clothes fabric. Uh, we've got, there's more demand for transport now. That's low, that's low. Coal is the issue. Um, we do really need to get this coal mine going. We've got dynamite, but the dynamite needs chemicals, which is up here. See, this chemical industry, sulfur and coal, so it's a, it's a kind of closed circuit. We see, I, I see. Yeah, let me just look at coal, uh, not curry, sul coal, sulfur. So it's not, the difference isn't that big. It's just the price is dropping actually. Okay. Um, do we need more convoys? Let me just see what we're losing money from our shipyards. We could sell warships and we could sell clippers. But the price of wood and uh, is the price of wood rise? I thought the price of wood was low. Mm. We could build more lumber yards and produce more wood. So, what's the price of hardwood? Hardwood is low. So, you just see this has got the benefit here. So if we say 
what how, what are you actually producing you're producing ordinary wood and uh hardwood here now i think is it the Gotlands that's you're just producing ordinary wood so if say for example we come there we don't want to produce hardwood we just want to produce Oh, we've got rail transportation there, so put that onto the logging camp. We're running up a debt as well, so we're going to be a little bit careful there. Why have you got still got carts here? Don't I have trains in this area? I've got trains. Was it just that? Um, wow, coal and engines. <laughs> it just doesn't end does it um so we're not making money from this because we need to get the price of coal down right we've got organized sports because it gives us plus 10 percent prestige right i'm just gonna slow the game down this is getting a little bit out of control what's going on down here so the war in prussia um so this is this is prussia over here isn't it is can you is there any way you can well, it looks like Radical Prussia is pushing on this way. What we got here? Mecklenburg is beating up them. Okay. And we've got 500,000 Radicals are rising again. Oh, what we got here? The mining Gotland has collapsed, trapping miners. Okay. Um... Plus five percent of the lower strata can become more radical. Oh, I don't want that. Um, okay, everybody becomes more radical um, in Gotland. Uh, industrialists, um, trade unions. Who do I have in power at the moment? Intelligentsia. Industrialists. Um, I just wonder if we make these trade unions a bit happier, they may actually kind of reduce the radicalization. I think we've well, we've pushed the Church of Sweden off the bottom. These guys are unhappy. What's what's going on here? Let's just have a look. Um, um approval technologies minus ten percent technology spread. This will radicate radicalize the poor folk. I think what we'll do is we're where's it gone? I think I'd like the trade unions on side rather rather than the so if we do that, that might kind of help a little bit. So back to what we're trying to do. What's this here? We've got logging camp, producing money, and we got transport. Just catch up again. We've got to reduce the price of coal. It's down here in Scania. Now we've got explosives is expensive. And it's producing expensive coal. Um, say for argument's sake, I so back to chemical plants. We should be making money here because, but sulfur and coal is expensive. So it's a vicious circle at the moment. Oh, how much coal are we actually importing? We're importing lots of coal. We're importing coal from Prussia and the United Kingdom. It's still not enough. So what we're going to have to do is build another coal mine down here, I think. Just going to have to keep pushing our coal mines up. And hopefully things will... I think we're push you to the top. Is sulfur prices. Can we import sulfur? 
better price for sulfur. No, we're going to import more sulfur from the British market to try and get that price down. We need more convoys. The only thing is fabric and wood in the British market. But we've got the coal mine, the, the logging camp here, which should come online pretty soon. It's really worried about these um, radicals. <laughs> right, let's just get this done. I think we've just finished the clothing factory, which we were building. Let me just see. This price starting to fall. Nope, still rising. We need more clothes production. I could import it, but I don't think I've got much more slack for anything. Actually, let me just look at my politics institution. We could take that up. Increase law enforcement level. These, these actually, I don't think that is actually reducing radicals, is it? Um, law enforcement, what have we got at the moment? What's our law enforcement at the moment? Local police force. What we really need is a dedicated police force, don't we? Okay. Uh, what we got here the armed forces expressed concerns about the government clearly favoring industrial industrialists armed forces plus two um yeah overnized concerns addressed industrialists lose two industrialists are happy so the armed forces are neutral. If we could get that up a little bit, we might be able to get some more. Okay. I think we'll go with that just to try and keep our dust law. These, this is still ticking up. What are we going to do to reduce radicals? I'm worried about this increasing depth. Um, so uh, we've improved the armed forces they've actually left enact censorship but that's weakening preserve freedom of conscience right these guys are still rising wow we're just gonna have to see what we're gonna be doing do we still got this area here that's we still don't have the workforce here unable to fully hire um what we got here something flashed in here that was a like You go to water tube boiler. That's gonna ah no 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 no. Give us let's just get that back to there. Yeah, I I think whoops I think I might have just kind of I think we'll stick with the uh, munitions plant here with no explosives it's the explosives again that's causing the problem it's the chemical plant coal Can we export explosives what's the market yeah well well we can't export those explosives we can eat can we import explosives there's a little bit from the 
Right, we've just seen poor explosives then. There we go. Still need the convoys, but the price of wood is falling. Or oh, it's not falling that much, I suppose. Let me just see. Yeah, so it's hardwood that's getting expensive now. Um, can we... I think if we can get an, another just in there you just got to keep whacking in these coal mines feel that we need another coal mine just going to keep increasing that coal mine we've got fishing wolves here that um A really big coal mine there. Just gonna let that run. Right, we've got steel frame buildings. Okay. And then we've got finished our research. Plastics. I kind of feel the rubber plantation. Oh, we've got electricity. We've got absolutely no idea what electricity, electric source, power plants. Yeah, but the problem with automation is that we're, we're actually going to make people unemployed. We actually want to employ people just the moment. I just wonder if there's anything over here that might... An arcanism. Um, plus one max institutional affairs. Mutual funds. Have a look. Prestige Socialism. Aha. What's that? Is it going to be worth human rights? Unlocks compulsory primary school protected. I actually quite like this because it opens up workers' protections, old age pensions, feminism. I think we're going to go with that. It's going to take 29 months to do it, but. I think that might actually, we've got inefficient agriculture. Started complaining about in Swedish good bone. It's migration attraction. Become more radical. Well, uh, I'm not too worried about it in Gabon. And I think if we can get more people coming into the colony. Let's have a look down here. Where are you? We're now ex exporting tea. Um, what's the market for tea? Would be under luxury items, isn't it? The price of tea is dropping. I just wonder if we could do the same with what would you say if we go for coffee um what's the price of sugar let me just see Let's see sugar is it price of sugar is already low because we're producing stuff so um, do people want coffee? That's an interesting question, isn't it? Can we create a market for coffee? Uh, I mean, price of tea is plus there. Clothes and liquor. Um, could we produce more liquor? There doesn't seem to be a market for tea. I don't feel that we need to expand this. I don't. We could produce more fabric here, but we won't make any money from it. Um, same with grain, but we could. What is the price of grain?
grain, grain is already low. It's, it's clothes and logs that are still. So I don't think we need to develop anything else in uh, that market. Actually, if we're taxing tea, um, just had a thought. Does it work that, say, yeah, we're, we're going to build another tea plantation here, aren't we? Which is still, they're still going to be recruiting. Um, maybe we don't. I think I've just delete, removed the tea plantation. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Bit of a, a bit of a deadly button that is, isn't it? Still build. Right, we're building this up here. This should be finished in there. We do have our construction industry. Let's have a look at the construction industry now. Construction sector. I don't really want. It. We'll increase the employment of machinists. Have le less like more laborers. So we'll get rid of laborers, increase machinists. Um, we'll get more construction. We'll be using less iron, but we're more. But we will need explode. Wow. I think going to. St well, I think we're going to need to do some preparation for steel frame. We've got woods. We certainly need to. I'd rather have the, all the explosives flowing into the mining industry at the moment and we're still um just kind of wondering if we could push that up to there we get more productivity and we're actually employing more people okay Right, we've improved the rank was successful. I'm not exactly sure what improving the rank was done, but okay. Just a bit of a shadow here. Um, maybe that was a little bit too ambitious. Vacuum. Yeah, I think if we produce more explosives with res and less fertilizer, because we can get the fertilizer from. The other market. Yeah, so we can keep fertilizer high, but we now got we're producing slightly more. Right, we're making us some money. We've got another coal mine. We've got a tea plantation. We'll be ready in one week. Replace the tea plantation, which I kind of. Uh, I mean, we're not building a lot at the moment, so uh, I've. I think we could be okay making a bit of money. Uh, let's get back to the market. Hardwood is still expensive. Get to here. These guys are making money still. So we put that into there. And let that run. Actually, Norland, how are we reducing your subsistence um, arms here? These guys are doing quite well. Um, I just wonder, the price of meat is cheap, the price of fabric is falling. Right, these guys are... We have a surplus, let me just see. Now, um, meats. Meat comes under luxury, doesn't it? No, we don't have a surplus. We're, produce we're producing tea and um, luxury clothes. I do wonder whether. The trouble is, I've only got the one grocery plant. This fertilizer place is annoying me. If I change the pot stills, we'll produce less 30 less groceries. Let me just see. Um, basics. Wondering if, say, we expand this and say make it two. Um, 
iron, the iron price has gone through the basics. Right, what we're going to do is buy another globes one. So what we'll be doing is produce more well, groceries. We now have total separation. Pause. This allows multiple production. Intelligence has endorsed this recent changes. Um, this will radicalize the rural folk. This will radicalize the church. But these are small groups. Right. So we'll probably find the radicalized 69,000. Well, okay. <laughs> maybe the. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Technology spread minus 10. Maybe that wasn't total separation, probably wasn't as good an idea as I thought it would be. I think what we're going to need to do is go for a dedicated police force. It's 65% support, but that is... Uh, just wondering, that's too low. Bring the landowners in. Rural folk don't like us at all. Armed forces. Um, they're unhappy because we just messed them up. Um, just wondering if we could. We have the. Apologies if you can hear voices in the background. We're just having a delivery. We can't suppress. I think we will go for dedicated police force. We've got a problem now with things. Right, we've got greener grass in Gotland. We're going to have to recover some of our authority now. Because we've lost authority. Gotland is a horrible place. Um, we've probably got park peasants. We don't seem to have any peasants here. Everyone's working. So it may not be a brilliant place, but it's actually um, we just don't have the workforce here for it. They are, make, but they are making money. So that is something. Right? What um, decrees have we got? Probably cancel that. So that we'll just leave it in Gotland. That will get us back into the positive that way. Right. Trade group convoys. We need more ship building. Okay. Um, I think, where is our shipbuilding? I keep kind of ignoring this, don't I? Shipbuilding. Is it shipbuilding? No, it's uh, development, isn't it? It's ports. So. Kind of, we got four in Svealand, three in Scania. Um, I think we're, we're, we'll get a couple more ports here. I don't think we need to develop that. Maybe we'll put another one in Scania. Just to get that done. Actually, what we can do is... Oops. Oh no, this is going to build anyway, isn't it? They're all three of building all at the same time. That's going to... So, one's 20 weeks, one's 14 weeks, one's 24 weeks. So, what we got here... Congo's entered in wishes to it. No, we're not going to. We're going to colonize you. I don't want to um, get there. Still not working hard on the debt. Right, we can get rid of that. And support more declared interests. Can we? I thought we could only do two. That's it. Automatic. Wow, 
ah, we're rising up the economy. So where would we want to? I'm kind of thinking. I think maybe if we get a declared interest there, and where else could we have a declared interest? Um, kind of. I'm kind of partly interested in. This is a bit of a. America, Hudson Bay, Indonesia, what would be in Indonesia. I think most of what's going on out here is actually I'm just going to, we're going to declare an interest in the Middle East, Arabia. I'm working on the fact that what we may get down here is possibility of getting doing a bit of conquest or something like that so that we may get to oil but I don't know if these guys have I was just using that up so we're actually rising in prestige now we're actually hold the rank of major power okay fixed it completed a positive balance okay um, how did we get to become a major power? I thought it was the top 10 that were major powers. I think it's probably got more to do with the fact that everybody else is falling rather than me actually getting better. But we're still losing money. Um, actually, I got an investment fund. No, we don't have an investment pool. I still don't really know that much about that. Our radicals are kind of floating around at wood in the Swedish market, expensive again. So we're going to have to come down to here. What's the price of wood? Wood and hardwood in the Swedish market. So what we're going to do is, where is it? I think we're going to take another two of these. Um, oh, uh, uh, what we got here? Transportation costs. Um, engines are getting expensive. Trains are getting expensive. Wooden passenger cars. That reduces in total modifiers. Transportation plus 15. You get more bureaucrats. What are substitutions? Okay, does that mean if, it, if I make it more government? If I okay, we're gonna we're gonna get more trains, but we're gonna have to look at more engines now, aren't we? Because we've got a problem. Where do we produce our motors? Urban. Put down some of these. Right, motor industries. We've only got the one, haven't we? We got here water tube boilers. That says we could lo lose money. This needs more steel. Price of steel. I think if we build another one of those, I think I'd like to keep the employment high against efficiency at the moment. At the moment we're just producing steel. Let's just have a look at our steel plant. I think the steel plant is in here. This is producing good. This is now getting coal and iron at a good price. And these guys are doing quite well. Although we had a spike and then it dropped down again. So I think we're going to be okay from that point of view. Interest. Declare an interest complete. Declare an interest successfully completed. I think we're actually catching up with the, <laughs> the tutorial. I think I must have got ahead of the tutorial. Because, oh, so we've dropped down a level now. So we're probably going to lose an interest. Because we're no longer a major power. Let me just take a look at that. That was still four. But if we lose the interest, we lose the interest. So own obligations, expand the military 
don't one really want to expand the military that much because the military costs us money, doesn't it? Let's just see. Yeah, I mean, the weekly balance at the moment is 7,000. I don't, I mean, I can't, I've been half considering actually reducing the cost of the military. We still got first aid there. Um, see if the market's improved for, uh, for opium. See if we can, we can always tax it. Where's opium? Uh, it's still pretty junky. Because at the moment, how many battalions have we got? High tensions, expensive wood, trade routes need convoys. Yes, I know. Um, we're working on that. So we're just going to... Oops, what we've got here. Losing rank, you have insufficient prestige to maintain the major power. You will become a minor power in 364 days. Okay, I don't really worry too much about that. Um, yeah, this Fertilla's the size of 53. Yeah, well, Not the colony. And in, let's just, just take a look at our colony and see how, how many more days we go before the next. We got it's a bit small. We got six hundred and sixty-two days before we expand again. It's quite strange that we've got port there, but we don't have a port here. It's almost like we've got to take that to get that going. Um. I'm just a bit worried about these interest payments. Let's have a look at our budget. Budget is 99, but we're, we're actually spending more money on construction at the moment. Kind of. It's just, I'm just going to look at. It will reduce the number of laborers by 500. That will make people un unemployed and that will make them more radical. We use more explosives, more tools, more steel, which we could, which we all produce. We will redu reduce the consumption of glass. Um, look here. Glass is cheap. Well, the only way we're going to find out is by actually doing it. So I've got a feeling I might regret this. Actually, what we can do is Zealand, Gotland, Scania. I think what we'll do is we'll actually increase these in stages rather than just go the whole hog and see what actually happens. Buildings. It's going to increase. Oops, location. I'm a bit, still a bit worried about my budget. Fifty-four thousand. We are using more. Right, let's just push it up again. How much money it get increases? So that's increased it by another two thousand. Yeah, we're pushing up the prices, but the the only one that's uh, is the wood. But we're building wood. Unproductive trade routes. Right, so we've stole from the British market. So what we might be able to do is get rid of these now. What we're going to do is come here. Is it? Right, we've got rifling unlocked. Rifling of rifles for arms, ammunition, repeaters, technology, breech loading. Okay, we're just going to pause. It wasn't that. It was, where, where was it? I'm going to put you back to iron frame. Okay. 
and see if that will that's going to reduce our cost down buildings buildings again right our shipyards of arms industry munitions plants are losing money government administration what's up with the shipyards we've only got one shipyard we could so we might be able to get solve that problem input good shortage wood and glass <laughs> um that the glass may disappear because we've dropped down again haven't we Um, engines are expensive. We've got 24 weeks till we get another engine built. Still, we're still cheap. Right, guys, I've gone over time on this video, so this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.